A stretch of land in Minneapolis that once housed hundreds of homeless people has again turned into an encampment. Our Jeff Wagner explains the effort to find housing for dozens of people as the weather starts to take a cold turn. Beyond the fencing and blockades set up to guard this otherwise ordinary section of tattered grass is a community in need of a home, finding refuge in a familiar place. What I'm hearing from individuals that are down there is that it's native land, and that's where they feel safe and they're going to go back to their land. Carrie Johnson works for Avivo, one of several organizations making daily trips to the homeless encampment along Hiawatha Avenue, offering services and resources in the same place where hundreds set up tents in 2018. As the calendar turned to winter that year, a massive effort ensued to get people permanent or temporary housing. That group was helped, but Johnson says the pandemic and riots of 2020 refueled the homelessness issue in the Twin Cities, along with one consistent factor that hasn't been fixed. I can tell you that the number one reason people are experiencing homelessness is a lack of affordable housing. Known as the Wall of Forgotten Natives, Johnson says many of the people there now came from a nearby park that was cleared of its encampment. Since then, agencies like Involve MN have showed up, dropping off hundreds of meals a week, while groups like Avivo focus on getting them a roof over their heads. Johnson says more than 60 people were recently transported to a suburban hotel. We're providing on-site support to those folks with um, the intentions of housing every single one of them in scattered site housing within the next 90 days. The city of Minneapolis plans to build three shelters in the next year, with one of them opening in December. While helpful, Johnson feels more work lies ahead. It falls back onto a lack of affordable housing and it's just a lack of, of resources. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. The shelter set to open in December is culturally specific for the city's Native American population. It would have 50 beds and be located at Cedar and Franklin Avenue right by the Hiawatha encampment.